Hello, my friends. Hello again, and welcome in to Purple Penguin Craft Room. I'm Vicki. Uh, today's craft is going to be uh, patriotic. We're doing stars uh, with red, white, and blue of the berries again, bringing back those berries. Um, I'm going to show you how I put mine together so that you can go ahead and put your own together. Um, complete supply list is going to be at the end of the video. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all those things. It definitely helps me out and keeps me going. All right, you guys. Let's jump right in and get started. Uh, eight by 10 canvas. Uh, this was from the Dollar Tree. Um, we're just gonna do, take that off. Uh, we're gonna do a reverse, what they call a reverse canvas. And so basically we're gonna take off uh, the canvas, but we're also, I, I guess it's not gonna be a reverse canvas. We're just using the frame uh, for this project. Just gonna use the frame. So we're just gonna take our X-Acto knife. Be careful with this. It be a little, be a little dangerous working with the, an X-Acto knife. And you can get your canvas from anywhere. It doesn't have to be from the Dollar Tree. I just like to use the Dollar Tree ones. They're a little bit cheaper, but sometimes you can get them at like Michael's or Joann's um, on sale. Um, that always helps too. And usually those when they have sales are usually in bundles. So you get like multiple of them. So that always helps too. I do like to save these canvases for some other projects. Now we can do one of two things. We can just leave this if you want, um, or you can actually try and pull it all off. It's totally up to you. Um, this is going to be the back, so it's not like you're gonna see any of this anyways. So it's totally up to you what you wanna do with that. Um, I typically at least just pull off um, the canvas part of it. Um, typically it's really hard to, to try and um, get all the staples. Um, Cause those are usually for the most part, those are in there. Um, if you can pry them out, you know, um, I recommend a flathead screwdriver. This is just a little baby flathead screwdriver. And sometimes that helps getting them out. This one is actually coming out pretty good today. Usually they're not that great. <laughs> Sometimes they're in there. Once you get all the canvas off, it goes, it, it's pretty nice after that. I do leave, you guys see there is uh, staples in the corners. I actually leave those. Um, just to help hold these together because it really otherwise doesn't hold together very well at all. Um, but we're going to use, this as our front. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take our Waverly Antique Wax and we are going to just use it as if it was a stain. Um, it doesn't, I use a baby wipe. This is just a damp baby wipe. Um, it doesn't get in the corners very well. So that's where I get a paintbrush and just kind of, it makes the corners a little bit darker, but I'd rather have them darker than um, um, white or unstained. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-do these because I already know it's gonna be too much of a pain to try and get in there with the baby wipe. I'm kind of preempting this. I always do this with corners and things that I'm going to be staining or anything like that. So for the rest of it, we'll just take our baby wipe. You can um, you can wet your project first if you want to do that, and then just use a dry cloth. Um, you can use just a regular cloth. Um, you could actually just paint this on uh, with a brush. 
and then go ahead and just wipe it off with like uh, a damp or a wet cloth or whatever um, you want to do. Uh, you could actually just use actual stain on this too if you wanted to do just regular plain old stain. It does not have to be this antique wax. I get mine at Walmart. Make sure you get, we're, we're going to do everything except for the very back. I'm not worried about the back. Okay, it's all stained. Um, it will dry a little bit lighter than this. Um, right now it's just kind of dark, especially on some of this wood. And, and that's just how the wood takes it. That's, that's how it is. Um, we are going to bring in some chicken wire. This is just some, this I actually got at Dollar Tree, which is surprising because they only had it for a short period of time in those little rolls. At first I didn't find any at all, but then um, I was able to find some. Um, we are going to attempt, let's see if this cooperates, and um, we're gonna staple it and then, um, and then we'll cut it because this is the stuff, it's gonna be hard to, I'm gonna kinda of try and stretch it at the same time. So, and then I just use my little, this is my craft staple stapler. It's called um, Mr. Pen um, is actually the manufacturer of this. Um, I got mine on Amazon and it comes in handy, I must say. And you probably will need a hammer too to kind of help hammer these down as well. Okay, after we get that done, we're just gonna take our needle nose pliers here. We're gonna go back and just cut off all of the extra here. Now this will be pokey. Um, so I've got a plan for that, but no problem. I will <laughs> protect it to the walls, I promise. Sometimes you may want to use gloves um, if it's too pokey for you. Um, I'm okay. So now we've got it all cut off. It is going to be pokey. Um, I will just tell you that right now it, it will be pokey. Um, so I've got a plan for that. And if you know me, I love felt. I absolutely love me some felt. And what we're going to do is just take strips of felt. Um, and you can get felt pretty much anywhere. You can even get it at Walmart. Um, sometimes you can even get it um, if you find it at um, Dollar Tree. Sometimes has some felt. But we're just doing little bitty strips. See, it, it just <laughs> catches everything. We're going to do little bitty strips. And what we're going to do is glue it down so that it holds down and it kind of cuts off the pokey parts, um, basically. So we just need four strips. And you're doing this probably roughly about, let's say about half an inch because you don't want it to hang over. I mean, unless you do, um, that's totally up to you as well. If you want it to hang over or you could just, um, you know, I, I just eyeball it, but you can measure it out if you want. This is like, it catches everything. Uh, the felt really helps out. 
I've done this on a previous project and it makes a difference, trust me. Not only will it protect uh, the wall or wherever you may be hanging this project or leaning it against, but it will also uh, protect you um, when you're holding it and moving it around or all the things. I'm just going to do little sections at a time to help hold it down. So we got all that. So you can actually, at this point, can run your fingers along the back. Um, if you wanted to kind of make this a decorative, um, you can actually make this the front if you really wanted to um, and do the like, this with like a ribbon or um, something decorative, like a, a rope or something like that. That'd be kind of cute too if you wanted to do that. I wanted it to do this way, obviously. Um, we're going to bring in, I've got these stars, um, I got a couple of them, um, from uh, Hobby Lobby, and I want mine to go right here in the center, like so. It does have a hole, uh, because it was an ornament, it had, um, it had a wire on it, um, so that I didn't need, so I took it off. Um, what we're going to do, though is, um, so, sorry, flip this around here. I do want this to stay on here. Um, the only way it's really truly gonna stay on here, um, actually, I think I might use a little bit of wire here. We're gonna take a little bit of floral wire and uh, change my mind. Just for, I mean, it's not going to stay with just this, but just for right now, just wrapping it through that hole there and around the chicken wire. Okay, obviously that is not going to stay, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to take I have some cord. This is white cord. Uh, it comes in this ball. Um, it was from Walmart. And what we are going to do is uh, wrap it around the ends here and here and all the things. So we're going to take a little bit of it. We're going to glue it down first. I'm going to try and make sure I hold it right where I want it to go. And we're going to try and wrap it.
And this is going to be fun. I'm trying to get this to cooperate. And the best part here is just taking it by the end. It's not going to be super pretty, but that's okay. Um, I kind of like it looking a little rustic looking. I am totally okay with that. There we go. So we've got one. We're going to do all of the sides uh, to kind of make it so it doesn't fall anywhere, so it doesn't go anywhere. The idea is to try and keep it as straight as possible. We'll see what we can do. We're all done. Got all of the, so it's, pretty, it's held on there pretty well. Like that's not going anywhere. So I like how that turned out. Now we're going to go ahead. Um, I want to take our berries. I've used these in other projects. These are from the Dollar Tree, but I've seen them at Michael's and Joann's as well. If you catch them, um, I've got a blue strand, a white strand and a red strand, and we're just going to wrap them around the outside of, of our project here. And so these are kind of already in their own little world. Um, I want to keep them long, but not too long because I do kind of want to, I don't want to glue them or how I want to attach them, but I kind of want to weave them in and out kind of around this project here. The problem is, is that some of these berries will get stuck. So be careful. Don't rip off your berries. Go nice and slow. Um, I'll try it. I don't want it super tight. I want it to be kind of random. Wrap this end around here. Make sure it stays. Now, before I add another white one, because I do want the white to go all the way around, I want the blue to go all the way around. Um, we're just gonna mix in so that it's not super uniform. Um, so I'm going to actually grab a blue strand, and I kind of decided I want them to kind of all go the same direction. And by, by same direction, I mean all the berries going the same direction. If you look and see, you can see that the berries kind of all are going to go this direction is what I'm going to try and do. That's the goal here. Oh. 
I think it might make it a little bit easier. Oh, so now these berries are coming off. And already. Some berries. Right there. And this is, I mean, simple enough. You're basically just wrapping it around, trying to get your berries in here however you want to do it. And you don't have to use these berries if you don't want. You could use um, you could use raffia. You could do um, you could do something as simple as uh, yarn. Um, you know, whatever you have. Kind of make it your own. They're just wires, so it's just a matter of just wrapping it around. Let's get some red in there too. Forget we need the red. And I kind of actually like them to kind of come off of the grid a little bit. So they're kind of raised up. When I mean raised up, that just means, so you see how this, this one comes out a little bit. So they're not all like right up against the project here. And we're just going to do as many as I want to kind of just try and get him looking good in here. I mean that they're wire. You can definitely you can manipulate them and move them around, and and that's kind of I like using these.
where's the very just I don't know, I want to pull up right there. All right. I think I like that. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay with that. So I'm gonna let that one go. That's gonna be good. Last thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna finish this off. Um, you could do this with a simple like ribbon or whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna use some raffia and we're gonna do, um, this is just, I think I got this actually at Walmart, but you can get your raffia anywhere. And I'm just going to do a finger bow and I want my finger bow to be about that big. You can do it however full you want it to be. I'm going to be super full here. Just simple. And you know what? I think I'm gonna... All right, and I kind of like it to be a little long, actually. I kind of like that. I'm just going to put some glue here. Trim it a little bit. Right now, it doesn't want to super cooperate because it's not hanging downwards. There we go. All right. So cute. I love how that looks. Very patriotic. Um, but you know what? Uh, red, white, and blue and Americana style can actually be year round. Some people do decorate year round with Americana style. Totally fine. Um, this will be in my uh, 4th of July uh, projects. Um, definitely keep on coming back and watch the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I'm Vicki and happy crafting.